Hello everyone, this is Dr. Nanya. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, we will be talking about calcium test. Before beginning the video, I'd like you to subscribe to my channel so that I can share all the valuable and useful information with you. First of all, let us know what is this test. This is a test that measures the amount of calcium in our body. Calcium is one of the most important minerals for us. We need calcium for healthy bones and teeth. Calcium also plays an important part in maintaining muscles, heart and brain. About 19% of the calcium is stored in the bones. The remaining 1% of the calcium circulates in the blood. If there is too much or too little of calcium in the blood, it may indicate a bone disease or a kidney disease. Now let us know what is this test useful. There are two types of calcium tests. One is total calcium and the other one is ionized calcium test. Total calcium test looks for calcium levels which is specific to a protein. Ionized calcium test looks for unattached or free calcium that is not attached to any of the proteins. Most of the times, total calcium test is a part of normal health routine checkup. Now, let us see why you may need this test. Most of the times, this test is ordered by a doctor as a part of basic metabolic test. Sometimes, this test can be ordered if we have symptoms of abnormal levels of calcium. Now, let us talk about symptoms. Symptoms of high calcium levels include loss of appetite, frequent urination, abdomen pain, and constipation. Now, let us have a look on what are the symptoms of low levels of calcium. Symptoms of low levels of calcium include tingling of hands, trembling of hands. It sometimes includes tingling of lips and tongue as well. In some conditions, people with abnormal levels of calcium may not show any symptoms. Also, if you have a pre-existing health condition that might affect your calcium levels, your doctor might ask for this test. Now, let us see how is this test done. For this test, a small sample of blood is withdrawn from the vein of your arm. The sample is collected and then sent to the lab. The results usually come in a day or two depending on the lab. So, do you need any preparations for this test? No special preparations are needed for this test. It can be done as per patient's convenience. But most of the times, this test is not ordered alone. There are other tests that are ordered along with this. So you might need to fast for 8 hours before the test. So, are there any risks or side effects to this test? There are almost no risks or side effects to this test. But make sure the needle is sterilized and the area is well cleaned. Now, let us talk about the results. What do they mean? If your results show that your calcium levels are higher than the normal, then it may indicate a condition known as hyperparathyroidism. It may also indicate Paget's disease or it can tell that you have taken excess amounts of calcium either in form of food or supplements. If none of these conditions match you well, then it might indicate risk of cancer. If your results show that you have lower levels of calcium than the normal, it may indicate that you have hypoparathyroidism. It may also indicate that you have vitamin D deficiency or magnesium deficiency. It may sometimes also indicate a disorder of pancreas or a kidney disease. If your calcium levels are not in a normal range, then it may not necessarily mean that you have a disease or a disorder. Sometimes the levels of calcium can be affected by your diet, certain medications and antacids. Also, your doctor will require additional tests to confirm the diagnosis. So, it's important for you to consult your doctor before interpreting your report by yourself or starting any medication or supplements. It's equally important for you to get tested from a reputed and reliable lab. If you have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to comment down below. Till then, stay safe and stay healthy.